ever threatened to call the cops for, on your kids? Like, have you, have oh, they my ever, kids? yeah, like, have they ever, no. have you guys ever, <laughs> have you, like, been, you've been so frustrated? I, I, I have well, never gotten there. there. You have gotten there. there. Uh, one woman okay. in Arizona actually did it. So it's, it, she's driving with her mm -hmm. kids, and one of her children unbuckles her seatbelt in the car. A three year old. Uh, yeah, just a little baby, you know, but, but the mom r wasn't quite sure that um, the little girl got the point. So what'd she do? So, well, she did just that. Well, first of all, take a look. We've got a little video for you. We don't know what other drivers are going to do. Other drivers might not being a, they might not pay attention, and they could run into the back of mom. They could hit the side of the car, and you know what? If we're not buckled, our body is going to hit something. That that is real video of a police officer explaining to a three-year-old. The mom right now is joining us. Hi, Michelle. Hi, little Camille. Good morning. Joining Good us from morning. Arizona. And, and Michelle, I think Aww. everybody wants to know, um, <laughs> did you just feel like you were not getting your point across when you were explaining the importance of buckling up? Right. I, that's how I felt, yes. And you know what? Her safety was at risk. It was the first time she'd done it, but it was something that could affect her life and her health. And it was just not an issue I was going to compromise on, and I felt like by me just telling her she needed to buckle her seatbelt, it wasn't quite getting through. She, she and, really seems um, like she I needed was... A... Camille! <laughs> She's kind of sick of hearing me talk about it. Say, no. Camille, did you understand what the police yeah. officer was talking about, Camille? Did you understand what the police officer was talking about? Yes. Yes. Aww. So, mom, and she's let me, whispering that yes, she did. Do you did you just do you, do you feel like you needed to make that point that it just wasn't it wasn't going through? Was Camille scared when the police officer started talking to her, or approached her? Well, you know, we actually I called the non-emergency number for the Scottsdale Police Department uh, after we got home and after I just wasn't quite sure she was getting the message. Two days later, I had made an appointment with the officer. We went down to talk to him. And he and his partner came out, and they talked to both of my kids at their level. They clearly had done this before. And my kids were a little nervous <laughs> because, you know, she knew she'd be gotten caught. She knew she did something wrong. But, you know, to have another authority figure back up what mom was saying yeah. well, um, was really beneficial for her. And, you know, she is three years old, and, you know, she's learning the boundaries. And she needs to know what's right and what's wrong. And it's my job to tell her that and to teach her and to raise her to respect authority. And so any nervousness she felt towards the police officers was out of respect mm -hmm. and the fact that she knew that they were right. <laughs> and um, it went really well. She promised to not ever unbuckle her seatbelt I again. I bet she, she won't. She has not done that. <laughs> All right. Hey, Camille, Michelle, thank you very much for sharing your story. Thank you. I mean, oh, yeah. to do it if we have time and we're not you know chasing down a real right. emergency right. they actually said it's a great idea he did it and you know he didn't scare the little girl do you guys think too much or do you think it was a good idea it was impressive I thought you know when I first Very read the story I was like wow that's extreme but no I actually think it was a good idea but she it, called the non-emergency number correct. and made an appointment yeah, thank she you for clarifying that for clarify, yeah, make sure people understand that part of it yes